Um, this is our session on mapping archaeological careers. Uh, I am Phil Pollard, my day job, I work for Historic England. <laughs> I'm Jessica Ellery, I work for Oxford Archaeology. And we are here representing the CIFA Early Careers Special Interest Group. Um, we will tell you all about it at some point, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'll tell you a bit about it later. Um, but also in the room, we have people from the special interest group and I want them all to stand up or wave to say, so everyone knows who you are, who's on our committee. <laughs> so these are the people you know to badger during the session and during coffee break and things like that. If you're interested in anything to do with supporting and giving a voice to early careers people and helping them in their careers move through the profession. So, Housekeeping. Um, first of all, if you've been in this room before, you will obviously know toilets are down the stairs, but there's also an extra ladies just outside the room. If there is a fire alarm, uh, please head out through the fire exits, front of the building, to the pub across the road. Um, you can go in the pub if it's open or just hang around outside it if it's not. Um, I couldn't find the whole statement on bullying and harassment, uh, so I just wrote Wheaton's Law. If you know Wheaton's Law, Great, if you don't, I'm being filmed so I can't say it. Um, just be nice to people. This is gonna be an interactive session. People are gonna be talking about their experiences, um, but we also want it to be a bit of a discussion and debate, but keep it polite, keep it civil, don't uh, do any personal attacks. This is you know, a bullying and harassment free conference. So if you wanna Google Wheaton's Law, it's a really simple statement and it tells you what, what to do. Uh, housekeeping out the way. Why are we here? What we're gonna to attempt to do today is visually map the career paths of our speakers. Um, what led them to where they are today? Why did they make specific decisions? Who helped them along the way? Um, and we're gonna do that by they're gonna come and talk to you and me or Jess is gonna sit here and try and map it on a screen for you in a little table so we can try and see where the key milestones are and what happened. Um, we're also then gonna be looking at, well, what's the similarities? What are the differences? Because we've got a range of people different careers, different stages in their careers. Um, everybody's journey is quite unique. But what are the similarities? What are the differences? Oh. Uh, Jess is gonna hand out some post-it notes. Uh, I'm gonna hand them out now so that while you are thinking and listening to people's, you can make some own little notes about your own careers and where you think you're going. Um, um, where have you been? <laughs> Duncan. Keep it, keep it, you know, polite. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking about what your career has been like. Um, because what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to try and do some little group exercises. We're going to try anyway, um, of trying to map our own careers and think about, could you follow some of these paths today if you're early careers? What are the kind of barriers that exist? What existed in the past that isn't in place now maybe that wouldn't let that same thing happen? Um, eventually, I'm going to take this away and, and try and work out, is there, are there clear, coherent career paths in a career in archaeology? I don't think there are, but I may find there is. And that's part of the process of this. It's a workshop that's actually going to give me some real evidence to do some real work with. So great, thank you. Um, so that's the aim of the day. We've got six, six, one, two, three, four, five, five. Oh, six, but you, you were number six. Five. Uh, brilliant people who've come just and going to put themselves out there and share their careers with you um, and for anyone online i'm going to keep this up for a little bit um, the board we're going to use we're going to put on the screen but if you're online you can log on and view it you can't edit it so you can't mess around with people's careers but you can view it online um, and there's a qr code if anyone wants to look at it on a phone or a tablet here while you're waiting um, we also need to get the template to them but we'll do that later um, you lot don't need it because you've got paper and sticky notes, like physical things, crazy. Um, so hopefully everyone's got that if they need to. 